Hello and you're very welcome to another episode of Fashion and Lifestyle. I'm Angie Sutherland and tonight we're delighted to be in the Hotel Kilmore and Cavan for the Cavan Rose of Tralee selection night. Enjoy the show. Please welcome on the stage, Sinead Gilligan and Grace. Emma McCabe with Mia. Kelly O'Reilly with Lauren. Sarah McKiernan with Tamara. Claire Mullahan with Ruth. You can make your way up to the front. This is the only opportunity you will get to get a photograph with the rosebuds tonight. After this, we'll be uh, taking the rosebuds off and we'll be setting them down and letting them enjoy the remainder of the night. So I'm going to make my way off stage for about 90 seconds or two minutes and you can get your photographs done. Please be my guest. <laughs> I'm delighted to be joined now by the Cystic Fibrosis Branch in Cavan organiser, I suppose, Lorraine O'Neill. Lorraine, what's your um, involvement here tonight? Tonight, well, tonight I'm here to represent Cystic Fibrosis Cavan Branch. Um, the Rose of Tralee have always sponsored and donated money to um, Cystic Fibrosis and the Cavan uh, Cystic Fibrosis organisation have um, been told to come today for representation because um, the Rose of Tralee are giving us a donation. So. Okay, we're here. great. And have you been at this before with uh, the Cavan Rose of Tralee? No, never. Always wanted to be a rose, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. You're not going to try your luck tonight, no? I'm a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us, where does the money actually go to? What does, uh, what does cystic fibrosis do with the money? Okay, well in the Calvin branch at the minute um, we are undergoing um, we're still in talks about a project for Calvin General Hospital um, we're looking to improve facilities in Calvin General both for outpatient and inpatient facilities we're hoping that um, in the not so distant future as in 2013 we might have outpatients organised um, and the inpatients will take a lot longer because it will take an awful lot of money 
we're talking hundreds of thousands so it'll be you know possibly a new build so um, every penny that we raise goes towards that every cent we raise goes towards that that's great okay. okay so a very worthy cause and do you have a website or anything if people wanted to donate to the cystic fibrosis well in Cavan they can get in touch with anybody that's associated with the branch um, we don't have we do my my charity now and again through the year but we don't run it we don't run it full time but we kind of reckon that in Cavan we run enough functions and enough you know fundraisers that most people in Cavan are you know are got okay yeah. but this is going out all around the world now Lorraine <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you so is there a website address for CF we have we have www.cysticfibrosiscavan.com um, you can look up different fundraisers and that uh, we do run my charity but we only run it for a few months of the year um, it's not up at the minute but if anybody wants to donate they can keep an eye on it and they can follow the link then when we have it up great well enjoy yourself tonight I will I will who do you think is going to win I think you have somebody actually participating tonight haven't you yeah I have a first cousin I have a first cousin and a friend so um, yeah Sinead Galligan and Emma McKay but either or I'd love to say one of them lovely girls but I have to say a competition in there like the beautiful girls really beautiful and girls. all well educated and well presented and everything of course it's not just about beauty so get Robin a sash would I <laughs> <laughs> well if your cousin wins she might let you borrow it so we might see you down in, Trilo- in Tralee then in August <laughs> Lorraine thanks very much from the Cavan branch of cystic fibrosis thank you I'm joined now by the MC of the evening. You're very welcome to Cavan. It's great to be here. A wonderful bunch of people and a brilliant night so far. Have you been involved with this before? Uh, this is my, I think it's my second year doing the Cavan Rose. I didn't do it last year, I did it the year before, but uh, it's definitely a brilliant night. And I suppose with the, with the likes of the Fla and stuff coming here over the last couple of years, it's really, really sort of lifted and it's, it's such a good night and great crack to come down to. So what sort of preparation do you have to do as MC then for the night? Uh, throughout the evening, I have to go and I interview all the girls. Try and find out a wee bit about them, uh, find out a bit of the background, what they're interested in, why they're here as well. Um, a lot of people think that they're automatically just going to come here. There's a lot of work to get them here. So uh, it's sort of down to me to find out why they're here, um, what, uh, what they like to do, um, what to think of the situation, and also um, what type of person they are as well. Because what we find out with the Roses Relay, especially in Cavan, uh, it becomes about the person and the personality and stuff as well. Absolutely. So have you any favourites? Or can you say? I'm not allowed to have any favourites. Uh, I have in my head. I have a few. I have one in particular. I think it's done quite well. Uh, it's the interval now, so we uh, I've only seen roughly half the girls. So I think there's one who sort of stands out. But it always happens, right? You, you think in the at the first part, you go, oh, that girl could be could be nailed on. You do the second half, and you go, right, that's completely gone out the window. And I, I have to say, especially in Calvin, over the last wee while, the standard of girls, the personality, and the people. Uh, it becomes harder and harder and harder to sort of pick. Plus, the judges have a different different scenario and a different view on it than I do. And, of course, you work in radio and television yourself. What are you up to in your own life? Uh, I host a breakfast show on Cool FM. Currently host the most listened to uh, commercial radio show in the north at the moment. Um, doing freelance TV stuff as well. I uh, occasionally run around the place and do things like this as well, which uh, keeps me busy. A bit of variety. <laughs> a bit of variety. So, yeah, I've been up since half four this morning. which is Good for you. Well, you're not looking too bad on it. Uh, not too bad on it. So, yeah, no, radio and TV keeps me busy and it's brilliant it, it basically means that you know when the Rose Tralee Festival come calling you just don't say no you don't say no I'm, I'm lucky this year uh, I'm getting to do quite a few in the north and the one I've always wanted to do is Dublin and after sort of three or four years doing the, the regionals doing all the north I've actually finally been asked to do Dublin this year and it's one I'm really looking forward to brilliant and when is the Dublin Rose on? Uh, I haven't got the actual date in my head I think it is in late May as far as I know, early June. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd love to give you the exact date, but it's in the diary. Uh, so it's a full weekend. So you get down there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And, and of course, people can find out on the Rose Trilly website. Very cleverly done, you see. Get onto the Rose Trilly website and you'll see all the details. I'm really looking forward to it. But I think someone like us here and, and, and the fact that you get to look at, at Calvin, and it's one of the early ones, you get to look at how it's done, you get to look at the people's reaction to the Rose Trilly, because it changes every year because of the money that's required to get the thing up and running and obviously the economic downturn and stuff. Um, it means that people have different attitudes to it, but you go right down to the heartland of Cavan here you find it exactly what people's attitudes are and that sort of it follows you and it develops and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as we head towards the summer and the big one the, the Rose Tralee International Festival great well we might see you down there then that's the plan maybe give me a decade give me a decade or so and, and I say well, hopefully we'll be there anyway so you never know we'll be there down this year and we'll be supporting uh, the Calvin girl as well hopefully she does very well great thanks very much for joining us we'll let you go because we know we have to prepare yes. for the second half, second half thanks that. again and nice enjoy the night I'm delighted to be joined now by Alison Harper who was the 2012 Cavan Rose of Tralee. How do you feel tonight handing back your crown? 
I don't know, it's completely bittersweet really. Um, you know, the girls are all fantastic, so you know, that obviously makes me very happy, but it's so, I don't know, it's sad letting go of the sash, but they say once a rose, always a rose. So I'm just holding on to that. Like the girls are all fantastic ambassadors, so any girl that is chosen, I'd be delighted, so. And how was your year? Well, I don't know even know how to describe it in words. Um, it was just a roller coaster, you know, the people I met. I didn't really know what I was letting myself in for originally. And the, is that a good thing? <laughs> no, it's definitely a good thing. You know, it's just such an experience. The people you meet, everyone's just full of such energy, enthusiasm. And everyone has this fantastic attitude towards life. And it's just this massive family. You're literally just thrown into it and you meet the friends of your life, people that are absolutely amazing, the opportunities that were opened up to me, experiences like even charity work, things like that, it has just been something special. And how was the actual few days down in Tralee last year? Oh, it was brilliant. You know, I went down, I supported all the girls that were up on the stage down there. Um, pretty much all of the Irish Roses went to support. We were a very strong group this year. We got on so, so well. But I went down, we supported, we gave it our all. We got featured as well then, as well with the other girls. So um, it was just brilliant now, yeah. It was just the buzz around Tralee is unbelievable and especially this year with the gathering as well there will be that even bigger buzz so I can't wait to go down again this year I think I'll be hitting it every year now until I'm old and grey. Once a rose always a rose exactly. as you say exactly. and what was the highlight of the year for you would you say Alison? Um, to be honest for me the highlight was just Port Leash, the regionals itself um, it's just naturally like, naturally obviously as well like just the fact that you meet so many new people it's just so I don't even know how to describe it like everyone is just amazing I just had such an amazing time. I got to go to so many fabulous places down in Leash and in Chile. I got to see, you know, parts of the country I'd never been to Kerry before, which was like, I seen so much down there, did a bit of tour and things like that. You know, there's so much to offer in Ireland and I really got, it really opened it up to me what the country has to offer. Great. And you look fabulous tonight. This is beautiful. The dress, if we can get a shot of her dress, absolutely gorgeous. Anybody you want to mention for the dress? Yeah, I'd like to thank Barbara from the Bridal Loft Coutel who actually sponsored me my dress tonight and she sponsored me my dress as well in the regionals in Port Leash. So massive thanks to Barbara, she's fantastic, she's so good. So after tonight then you'll hand back your, your reign as okay, such yeah, and yeah. it'll be back to normality. What are you doing in your own life? Well at the moment I'm finishing my thesis, it's due next Thursday. So once I get that done I have my exams and then it's summer. So the next year I've applied for a business, um, business management course, a master's in Maynooth again. So I'm hoping to stick on my studies for a while. Then once I get my studies out of the way I'll be going travelling and exploring and hopefully there's plenty out there for me. Great, Alison, you were a great rose. You oh, did a great job for the last thank year. You, you. And the best of luck with your studies and whatever thing. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm delighted to be joined now by Neve Flanagan, who was the 2012 Leitrim Rose of Tralee. How was the year for you? It was absolutely brilliant, so it was. I did so much. Um, I'm handing back the sash now on um, the 4th of May, which is quite sad because I want to hold on to it forever. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So another girl from lovely Leitrim has to take my sash. Great. And when is the selection night for Leitrim? It's in May, I think. Fourth of May. Okay. So how has the year been for you? What have you been doing? It's brilliant. I did so much. Um, I'm just actually back. I came back last Thursday week from um, voluntary work in um, an orphanage in Belarus. Um, it was quite a um, life-changing experience, but very emotional. Uh, went out. There was 170 kids in the orphanage, and um, me and 16 other roses went out um, as part of the Rosa Chile. Um, out to these kids and make them feel loved and cared for. We brought a load of supplies over with us and I did a huge amount of fundraising before I went. And why did you get involved in the Leitrim Rose? Um, because my daddy and my neighbour wanted me to go for it. Um, it was just, it looked so much, it looked like so much fun. And I was like, I'll just do it for the fun. And um, I went for the interview, the group interview, went on stage. And when my name was called, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I really didn't know. I was like, Neil Flanagan is not the Leitrim Rose, but I was. And the night that we had in, in Carrick and Shannon that night was absolutely amazing. I'll never, ever forget it. So what would you say to any girls looking in tonight who might be thinking of entering the Rose of Tralee competition? Um, well, just go for it, girls, because life is too short. Um, you just have to grab things, opportunities when you can. Even if you don't get picked as Leitrim Rose or the Cabin Rose or Monaghan Rose, you're still a rose. Always, once a rose, always a rose. And we were talking 
talking to Alison Harper earlier, who was the 2012 uh, Camp and Rose, and she was down in Tralee, and you were down in Tralee. Yeah. How was that? Absolutely amazing. We actually travelled together, and we got lost along the way. But um, me and Al Alison has become so like close friends. We're like really close. Um, Tralee was absolutely amazing. Like even like the floats and the just the parade and everything. The girls on stage, the party afterwards. Just the experience of being down there is just once in a lifetime and every girl should really just go and experience it. Will you go again this year? Uh, no, it's okay. I could just go and I can relax and hand over my sash. <laughs> but um, what I've what I've got so far, I've never thought I would experience it. And um, the experience I have from 2012 has been amazing. Great, and you've been a great ambassador for Leitrim, yeah, if I may I say so, so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Neve Flanagan, 2012, Rosa Tralee, Thank thanks you. very much. I'm delighted to be joined now by Steve Connolly, who's the commercial manager with the Rosa Tralee Festival. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. How is Cavan going so far? Yeah, it's been fantastic, actually. We have a great audience in there. We have Irish dancers currently on open up the second half. Um, ten fantastic roses with rosebuds. Um, there's the mountain of um, raffle prizes for charity. It's just a fantastic community evening. And tell us a little bit about the actual Rose Festival itself. So the festival is in its 54th year. Um, we target roses from all over the world and connect the Irish diaspora right, right throughout the world. We have about a thousand roses that enter every year within the festival and um, it's for some strange reason, it's probably still the most watched program on television. Don't ask me why, but it is. We, we target probably, we, we kind of capture one million viewers every year, which RT is over the moon with, so it's fantastic. And tell us a little bit about when the girls go down, what happens? So from here tonight, when our girl is chosen, she'll go to the festival in Port Leash, where we'll have 64 cents of throughout the world and they will vie for a place where we've 32 spots to go on television in August um, but we've a fun filled and packed itinerary down in Port Leash where we do the vintage car parades we'll have the, the Civic Plaza reception we'll have the, the as I say we'll have the, the parade with the vintage car not only that we'll have rosebuds as, as the same as television we'll have um, of course Dahi O'Shea who's our Mm -hmm. our legendary compare down in Tralee and everybody knows Dahi of course and many many families from throughout the world that actually come together in Port Leash and Port Leash of course been the centre of Ireland it's just it's very accessible for everybody and we want to have a great weekend in the bank holiday in June I suggest get to Port Leash that's the place to be and what about the gathering this year are you expecting even bigger crowds yeah we've, we've sent out invitations to many many people who have been involved in the festival for the last 50 years plus and uh, the, the, the reception that we've got is phenomenal we actually didn't think it would be so good so we're putting on a free concert um, pre-festival this year so We'll have Sharon Shannon in the dome and anybody that fills out the invitation and comes back to Tralee, you're more than welcome to look after you and Sharon Shannon on the dome will be a phenomenal concert. In advance, of course, the Rose Ball that takes place on the Friday night, leading to the parade on the Saturday, the fashion show on the Sunday and, of course, TV Monday and Tuesday. Great, so a packed festival? Absolutely, and we've, again, the, the, the parade will be one of the highlights where we've to over 25, 30,000 people on the street seeing the 32 fantastic ambassadors from all over the world participate in one of the legendary festivals in Ireland. And Steve, tell us a little bit about your sponsors. Yeah, the sponsors, um, of course, our lead sponsor will be Newbridge Silverware, who have uh, been around now for a number of years, and we're, I suppose we're, we're delighted to have them. The festival actually runs without the, the sponsors, we wouldn't actually be alive. As I say, it's in our 54th year. Back in 2004, we were kind of struggling if we were going to keep it alive or not. And in fairness, Mr. O'Gara came in with a team of um, his contemporaries and actually put, a, put the jigsaw back together again, and we're thriving ever since. It's not, um, I wouldn't say you'd actually get rich with the festival and kind of wash its face every year, which is fantastic. But at the same time, we actually bring people to Tralee and to keep the 54th year running and, and consecutive it's fantastic and it's really like a landmark festival I mean it's it's and we're in tough financial times so I mean I suppose every penny counts every penny does count and I know they like even to enter like the girls um, it's 250 euros but it's amazing the local communities because that's where it starts if we don't have the local sponsorship and, and the support from the locals here and, and starting here in Cavan even tonight 10 girls like every girl um, would have been sponsored 250 euros and without that we wouldn't actually have, a, have an event here tonight and it's just fantastic to, to say that we started on the bottom ground and work away up and it starts here locally but the likes of our Newbridge Silverworth Carlton Hotel Group um, I suppose leading on to all our sponsors in the, in the car and Hyundai and all of that without them this jigsaw wouldn't be together Absolutely and I know that the Leitrim Rose Selection Night is taking place on the May Bank Holiday Weekend and what other Rose Selection Nights are coming up? Well we've Leitrim of course as you, as you just mentioned but tomorrow night we're actually um, down in Westmeath in, um, in Athlone in Spring so anybody that's out there want to come to Athlone you're more than welcome and of course we're heading north on Sunday night to Fermanagh London is on at the weekend as well so uh, one of our um, one of my colleagues will be heading over to that. Um, next weekend, of course, it's it's more uh, we have we're up north again, and of course, as you mentioned, Leitrim, we're Cavan, we're or sorry, we're Carlow, and we're Anoffley. 
and right through till the 6th of May we're actually at selections and that our last selection is in Ireland is Kilkenny on the 6th of May. And how many international centres do you have Steve? Um, in total we would have 31 which is fantastic um, and that would lead our new centres this year would have Bahrain, Abu Dhabi and a few more of those. They're actually new and, and, and it's great to connect with because the amount of Irish living abroad is phenomenal even more so now and to connect with those people and bring them back home for a weekend um, packed of fun and I suppose the community spur of the festival and that's what it's about. Um, the word competition I suppose we don't even get involved in initially we say that all these girls are ambassadors, which they are, and if your name is chosen on the particular night, it's an added bonus to your experience, and that's where we start from. And they have a fantastic year, even when they are selected. Yeah, there's 25,000 of, of a prize fund to help you on your way, but in fairness to the girls, they do an awful lot of, um, of work for the festival, and indeed the, the charity. Um, Nicola, our current international rose, was over in India earlier in the year, and then she went to Chernobyl just recently back. She also had tea and coffee with Mr. Obama and his good wife in the, in the White House two weeks ago, which was probably her highlight in fairness because she'd always wanted to meet him so it does actually open up doors and we actually support that 100% yeah, the charity I, element is, is, is I think she, she gave out to him for blinking in one of the photographs or something yeah, I saw recently it, she took a photograph and she says can we take that again and he says what yeah can we take that so they actually got two photographs which is <laughs> unheard of I'd say in the White House but anyway good for her and then finally Steve just to wrap up because I know you're busy tonight um, how can people um, I suppose for next year find out about the Rose competitions basically our, our website is rosetree.ie and um, if you go onto that website and just click on if you want to be your roles, you want to be an escort, you want to get involved in the festival as a volunteer because without the volunteers we wouldn't have a festival and we actually I mean we do, we stress that, we can't stress it enough the amount of volunteers we have in the festival is phenomenal and these guys take their annual holidays yearly to come down and support us which is incredible but they see what the festival is about and they see what the energy and the enthusiasm that the people have in Kerry and that's I think why one of the reasons why we're in our 54th year. Great, okay well the very best of luck with the 2013 Rose of Tralee hopefully we might see you down there Look forward to it and thank you very much. For Steve Cranley, thank you Thank you. We did say to you we're looking for the best dressed female, did we not? Unfortunately, you gorgeous females the front cut winners. If I go one, two, three, four, and I say, Bridie. by Bridie Cunningham who won the best dressed lady tonight congratulations Bridie thank you very much thank you very much you look lovely just tell us a little bit about your outfit well I, I bought uh, the outfit in a boutique in Cavan town and the shoes and in McDonough's and Cavan and I bought the uh, the headpiece in um, I think it was uh, that boutique Helena's boutique before it closed lovely absolutely yeah. gorgeous and it matches the outfit perfectly the red very much and I have a white shawl that I had over it so I bought it and done stores lovely and what was the prize what did you win tonight I won a sanctuary gift set sanctuary gift set I was very surprised when they called my name out and that they knew my name and they counted down the rows and I, I really was, I couldn't believe it. And, uh, and of course, Bridie is the mother of Kira Cunningham, who was crowned the Cavan Rose tonight. So you've really cleaned up tonight, haven't you? I won on the double tonight. I couldn't believe it. So then I didn't put up my, uh, my uh, banner because I said, now if I win a third time, I said, it will surely sound like a fix. So I kept, I kept it on the floor. And are you, you're ready now for Port Leash. That's the next oh, thing, yes, the regional we're final. Black, we're going to Black Book. Uh, the hotel the girls were saying her support us because she has a lot of friends and we have a lot of big family we come from I'm from seven sisters so we're all going to book uh, the hotel and are you going to dress up for Port Leash as well Bridie? Most definitely I, I'll, I'll be hitting all the high boutiques to get the whole matching colours yes Good. well we'll be looking out for you then at the regional finals in Port Leash thank Bridie thanks much. again and congratulations and thank you for that ladies and gentlemen the current Calvin Rose Alice Parker. Thank you. I just wrote a really short speech, it's only going to take a few minutes, I promise, just because I wanted to be able to mention everything, didn't want to leave anything out, and I wanted to thank everybody who, who's helped me along the way. 
So I hope you all are thoroughly enjoying your night, as it is a very special night for all these fantastic girls, as well as myself. Last May, when I was chosen as the 2012 Calf and Rose, my centre coordinator at the time, the wonderful Brendan Galvin, told me that in a year's time, I would look back and realise the amazing effect that being a rose can have on your life. Brendan was certainly right. The past year has presented many opportunities to me. Becoming close friends with girls from all over the world, as well as girls from as close as my bordering counties, has truly been a privilege. Being an ambassador for my county fills me with pride and the opportunity to represent my county <clears throat> on a national and international level is something that I will always cherish. Particularly as 2013 is the year of the gathering, it is an extra special year for the Rose of Tralee. As those from all over the world come back to their homeland to reunite with friends and family, it is an ideal time for us to promote our wonderful county. As well as meeting many wonderful people and undergoing experiences that I never would have dreamt of otherwise, I have used my time to raise vital funds for a charity very close to my heart, as well as, <laughs> um, and as close to many of our hearts. Save Our Sons and Daughters, also known as SOSAD, is a suicide prevention organisation. Due to the alarming suicide rates as of recent times, I decided to use my position of the secretary of my college, NUI Maynooth. I'm in the Mental Health Society as a platform. So Sad, which has a centre here in Cavan, is a charity I have worked closely with in the past months. Fundraising regularly in college, myself and a team have raised nearly €1,000 as of date, raising €327 Euro during the last week, a week that we organised called Random Acts of Kindness Week. Best of luck to all the girls. They're all fantastic. Any one of the girls would be absolutely fantastic. They'd be a wonderful representative for Cavan. Um, and I'll definitely let support you whoever gets it in partly. It's just a pity that you all couldn't go. Um, just a few thank yous at the end. I just want to thank everybody. I'd like to thank Angela, Ev and Ben Tyg for um, they were my judges for putting me through in the first place. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank GT Electric Calvin, who are my sponsors. I'd like to thank Barbara from the Bridal Loft in Cotill, who sponsored me this lovely dress tonight, and she also sponsored me my dress for the regionals in Port Leash. I would um, just like to thank everyone who's made the year memorable, particularly the friends I've made through the Rose of Tralee, the Roses, the Escorts, the extended family, and a big shout out to Neve Flanagan, the lunatic from Leitrim, who's come over for me. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mum and my dad, who are sitting three rows back here, who have been absolutely fantastic all year. It's been wonderful support, and because I'm 22 and I still can't drive, but I'm learning this summer, they have carted me here, there, and everywhere. So a big shout out to them and to my brother as well, who can't unfortunately be here tonight. Um, just thanks to everyone, it's been such a good night. Um, best of luck to Angie and Kathleen taken over the centre this year. This this has just been absolutely amazing. So much organisation has gone into it and they just did an absolutely unbelievable job. So well done. And um, just thanks to everybody. It's been the best year of my life ever. Um, anybody who gets involved with the Rose Tree will never regret it. It is just something else. So thank you all very much and good night. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Angela McCusker. Sponsors. Firstly, the Anglo Self newspaper, and in particular, Linda O'Reilly, for her fantastic support and encouragement over the last couple of months. I'd like to thank the Hotel Kilmore for the amazing venue and for all the professional support that they have given us today and tonight. I would like to thank Newbridge Silverware for the beautiful jewellery that they are pro uh, providing for the winning rose. I'd like to thank Salon Tebow and Aideen's Beauty Salon for the fabulous hair and makeup that they provided for the girls today. I would also like to thank all the individual sponsors on behalf of all of the girls. I would like to thank our entertainers tonight. I'm sure you will agree. Um, they all came here on their own time and they were just fabulous. Um, I would like to... I would like to thank our judges, Ben, Linda and Madeline. Um, I don't envy their task, that's all I can say. They've been here since early this morning and they've, they've just been marvellous and thank you to all three of you. Um, I'd 
like to thank our beautiful Rosebuds and in particular their parents for keeping them clean, keeping them tidy all night. And I hope they enjoy their night and I'd like to thank them so much for their contribution towards the night. I'd just like to thank our beautiful Roses. On behalf of myself and Kathleen, I can say that it has been an absolute pleasure to be with each and every one of you over the last number of months. Not only are they beautiful and highly accomplished young ladies, but they're an absolute credit to their family and to Karen. And I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight to support this event and to thank you very, very much. And finally, I'd like to thank the Kerry Rose Festival for all their support to both myself and Kathleen over the last number of months. And in particular, I'd like to thank my sister Evelyn and her husband Steve for the number of phone calls that they have taken over the last couple of weeks to two screaming ladies who didn't have a clue what they were doing, set their nerves and just did everything that they could to help us to make tonight such a good night. Thank you very much. Thank you, so uh, we're nearly, nearly there, we're just about to have one more thing to do before we get the envelope and we reveal the young lady who's going to be the representative of the cabin in the Rosetree International Festival. Speaking of said Rosetree International Festival, direct from Tralee, uh, a man who's helped uh, put together this evening and I'm sure he has been at the end of the phone for many of the conversations um, that we've previously discussed, a man that's going to come up here and tell you and give you a small insight into what he has to do and what the Rosetree is all about. Direct from Tralee, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the wonderful Steve Connolly. Good evening, Kevin. I will be brief because I know um, it's, it's getting late, it's almost morning. Can I first say, first say a huge thank you to the Rosebuds who actually stole all the thunder here this evening. We had a nice party at around 7 pm tonight, and I see some of them now they're sleeping still. So, a huge thank you. You are the future of the festival, and that's why we actually embrace with you and look forward. We're in our 54th year, but once upon a time, um, you, the, the people on stage here were Rosebuds. You guys, in the next 10 to 15 years, will be up here doing the same job as these 10 ambassadors. So, thank you very much indeed. To Trondheim Media, you might see a camera going around there tonight, and to, um, to Brian and Angie, they've been um, reco recording a lot of this activity, and you will see it, and they're hoping to streamline tonight, the pity they didn't get talking to the mayor, because it would have been great, but um, they're going to hopefully cover, come down and do a bit of Port Leash with us as well, yeah. so um, watch out for this, because they're putting the production of tonight's uh, together, we're going to edit and put it live, so we look forward to seeing the, the, the final package, thank you Brian and Angie. To our sponsors, as Angela alluded to, Hotel Kilmore, the anglo South, of course, Salon Thibault, they're just to mention a few, all the local sponsors that these 10 fantastic ladies um, are representing. Without the festival, without the sponsors, the festival would not function. Um, 750,000 um, worth of sponsorship it, it takes to put the festival on, and each year, for some reason, we manage to achieve that. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. 54 years of success is because the likes of the, the local people who put their, put their hand in their pocket and keep the local community in relation to the festival alive. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for keeping the Rosa Tralee where it should be, one of Ireland's legendary festivals. Thank you very much indeed to each and every one of you. <laughs> to um, our production team, um, Mr Cooney, the man in black there that keeps the, the side of stage going, uh, putting the roses through their paces, up and down and round, and uh, I suppose carrying some of the rose buttons. Well, you did a great job, Peter, as always. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> To our musical director um, and sound engineer, Pat Corman, of course, on the sound, silent but deadly, he's in the day, he's in the dark there at the moment. Uh, but Dale Hennessy um, travelled up from Carlo today to um, listen to the girls and I suppose get a tune, and I'm sure you agree, he did a great job in the company of the girls. Fantastic. So, Dale Hennessy, true professional, thank you. And um, as soon as we announce an ambassador, of course, we will have a bit of live music from Pat or DJ. DJ Pat's over there on the corner, so Pat, we'll get to you later. Um, one man that travelled all the way down from Antrim this evening and um, got caught in uh, heavy traffic due to a bad accident. Um, but I finally arrived here and met the girls. And the girls, I have to say, were very, very nervous this afternoon. But can I just say tonight, and it might have been Mr. Mr. Um, Phillips that actually eased the nerves. Can I just say, his job was to make them better, and you did that because these girls, I detected no nerves on stage tonight. And that's down to the true professional Connor Phillips is. Well done to Connor Phillips. To our coordinators, um, Angela McCusker and Kathleen O'Reilly, um, I suppose I kind of um, badgered them into taking on this role. And it's not an easy role to, um, I suppose, take up the reins and, and run a centre. I do see Helen Dunn down there in the, in, in the audience who did it for many, many years, and Helen knows what a difficult task it is. Um, and can I just say to the two ladies in question, um, we know what it's like to put a centre together. We know what it's like 
It doesn't happen in 24 hours, it doesn't happen in seven days, it doesn't happen in six weeks. It takes about five to six months to do this. So to Kathleen and Angela, it would, we wouldn't be here without you. You know, you know wherever you are in hiding, can I just say a huge, huge thank you to you both. Fantastic and well done for this one. To our guest in the audience, of course, our Leitrim Rose, still current Leitrim Rose, who will be um, giving away a sash in the next few weeks. Um, thank you very much indeed for uh, making the journey, and uh, we look forward to sharing your celebration in a few weeks. Our Leitrim Rose, Lee Flanagan, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> to Ben, to Linda, and Madeline, I uh, met you this morning, a um, long time ago now. Um, you're still smiling though, so that's a good sign, and I hope you're still talking, and I'm sure whatever decision you've arrived at, it'll be a worthy ambassador that represents the Cabinet at the, the Regional Festival of Port Leash. And thank you very much indeed for your time and endeavour in picking one of these fantastic ten ambassadors I have here stood behind me. Thank you very much indeed to the judges. <laughs> just before um, I finish, if I could call on our, maybe Kathleen and Angela just to a um, small presentation to our judges, if I could. Or I'll be killed because I was told, don't forget our judges, so I better not. So to our judges, um, Linda and Madeleine initially, and of course, the voice of Ireland, Mr. Ben Tye. Well done. To, um, to a young lady who, um, and still current uh, Cavan Rose, can I just say, um, when you're picking, a, a, I suppose, a lady to represent your county at, at Rose of Tree level, at county level, you look for a girl who presents herself well, she's ability to communicate, and she does that very well. She's confident, she's dependable, she's charitable, and she's supportive, she has time for everybody. I can go on forever talking about this lady, but to Alison Harper, a true and worthy cabin girl. Thank you very much indeed. And a worthy ambassador for cabin. Almost there, our charity, uh, Lorraine, 65 Roses. Uh, it's great to see you here tonight. It's 65 Roses, uh, as, as we call it, in down in Tralee. We're delighted to be associated with so many charities. We raise in excess of about 50 to 60,000 per year when you can contribute all the charities that we engage in throughout Ireland. There are 32 of them, and then we have nominated charities like Chernobyl and, and I suppose our charity in India as well that, that Nicola um, alluded to it and, and kind of was out there in the last few months and met Mr. Obama. So the, I suppose the role for Rose is. Um, it varies quite a bit. There's a serious side and there's a fun side. Tonight is a fun side and the, the lady that's chosen here behind me, I suppose, is an added bonus to the experience you've had. So can I just say to Lorraine, firstly, with the charity element of it, we're delighted to be supporting such a worthy charity. And to you and that um, lovely, lovely, lovely daughter, Mia, God help you because I know who the boss is. It's her. Um, and and you should be proud of her being nominated as rules. Maybe one day we will get a sash on you. It might change the rules a bit, but by no one thing, me will certainly be up here one day. Thank you very much for to rate me. And finally, before I finish, to our ten fantastic roses behind me, um, I'm sure you'll agree, um, we had great fun today on stage and this morning, and um, everybody has searched for a set of car keys that are still missing. Girls, I couldn't let it go. This one lady said she was very shy. She was, Lisa Marie was giving me a hard time earlier about the keys. Can I just say to each and every one of these people, I'm sure you'll agree, for your parents, your family, your communities, you must be, must be, because we are, and I know them today, but I know Angela and Kathy love them a long, long time, you must be very proud of, um, of what they've done here on stage tonight. I'm sure you'll agree, each and any one of them would be a worthy ambassador to represent Calvin. Yes, they would. And can I just wish you all the very best of luck in advance of the decision we're about to make. I know there's a presentation here coming from Angela and from Kathleen in relation to and I know there's a prize for each and every one of the roses also. So if you could do that presentation in advance of the winner, Angela, the flowers are for Miss Harper, if you'd like to make a way forward just before we finish. To Alison. And we're just going to present the girls with a short prize. It's kindly sponsored by Boots. There are others actually in the green room. So we'll just, um, we can hand them out and we'll actually do it later because I know these girls are on stage a long time and you guys want to know who the ambassador is. Without further ado, can I call on the chairperson for the envelope and hand them back to Mr. Connor Phillips. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for Steve from the Rose Tree International Festival. Thank you, Steve.
He keeps me right. Have to say, actually, give me a round of applause going for Steve. Steve's the man who looks after everything, all the running of the night, everything, where people go, where people stand, and without him, I couldn't do my job. So, Steve, thank you very much for your continued support and help. Right. Are we ready? Yeah. Who's it going to be? Yeah. judging panel tonight, Ben Ty, Linda O'Reilly and Madeleine Argue. Have you enjoyed the experience tonight, Madeleine? Yeah, absolutely. We had a wonderful day and we were we met some lovely people. I mean the ten candidates were just unbelievable. So a hard decision, how do you decide? Very, very difficult decision. Uh, and we've had a long day here. We had individual interviews with the girls. We had group discussions then in the afternoon and obviously the selection night tonight where the audience would have seen the much briefer interviews and party pieces. So uh, I, I think we, we changed our minds back and forth a few times. Uh, the standard was very, very high here. There was uh, numerous girls who could have represented Calvin in Leash and went on to Tralee. So uh, they're all very good ambassadors for their county and we're sure that Kira will be a, a very good ambassador for Calvin in, in Great, thanks Linda. And of course Ben, you're synonymous now with the Rose of Trilly, you do quite a lot of them. Yeah, I've done a few of them all right now, yeah, I'm a veteran now at this stage. And being an escort to this, it's great, you know, it's, it just shows how, how good the festival actually is, you know, you just you keep getting involved. So I've, I've been involved since 08, I was, I was an escort in 08, and just since then it's just like a, a fish hook, gets you right back in again, you know. Every and what do you look for? in the girl that you select to go forward for the rose um it's it's not it's not really what we look for it's just like any 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 one of the girls could be could be an ambassador for for their county 
and there's none of them none of them are losers everybody there, of course there has to be one winner uh, but all of them are second if, in my eyes do you know what I mean so there's never a loser so they're all just as good as each other to be honest great okay thanks very much you did a great job tonight thank you Cheers. And I'm delighted to be joined now by the 2013 Cavan Rose of Tralee, Kira Cunningham. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I suppose that's something I, I better start getting used to now, be having that title. But I'm absolutely delighted, thrilled and, uh, and shocked as well at the same time. Um, I was amongst nine other girls who equally were entitled to be where I am now today. And I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Nervous? Oh. Shocked? Excited? Oh, oh well, I, I was very nervous before I came up on stage. Um, but now, yeah, shock, excitement, uh, uh, yeah, so many different emotions right now. And where are you from in Cavan? I'm from a small village um, called Cross Keys. It's about 10 or 15 minutes from Cavan Town. Okay. And how did you get involved in the Rose? What made you decide to enter? Okay, well, um, I've always been involved in Irish traditional music and I suppose the Rose was always something I had intended on doing at some point and I happened to get a phone call and I said, why not? This is an opportunity and given the year, it's the gathering and the Rose of Tralee also being so important to my family, so why not? So, so were you just totally surprised? I mean, what are you going to do now with your studies and everything? Uh, well, I, I'm actually um, a trainee solicitor at the moment, so I'm at work. So I'm up, but the company that I work for in now, Good Body, they've been more than supportive and they're all behind me. So I'm pretty sure they'll be delighted come Monday morning when I tell them I have the, have the sash. Great. And are there any sponsors you want to mention? Yes, of course. Um, I actually was kindly sponsored by my cousin, um, his, his company. He set up a new company called Cell Media, which um, deal with... Um, advertising and marketing of other businesses so where a uh, business want to outsource uh, their marketing to someone cell media takes takes it off their hands so Killian it's a new business he's only after starting it up so I you know I'll do my bit to help promote him and hopefully he'll he'll be really successful in a few years time great so what happens now then Kira now that you're the cabin rose what's the next step well, the next step is the regionals, which are in Port Leash, and they're, I think, the bank holiday June weekend. So, fingers crossed, who knows, um, you know, there's so many other roses that uh, we'll be up against. So, I, I just think taking part is the main thing and enjoying it, and then whatever happens then is an extra added bonus. Great, and congratulations on getting this far, the 2013 Cavan Rose of Tralee, Kira Cunningham, thank you. Thank you very much and thanks to all the organisers um, of the Cabin Rose. It's been absolutely amazing and I've thoroughly enjoyed today and I'm sure I'll enjoy tonight as well. Absolutely and hopefully yeah. we'll see you down in the Dome in August. Please God, fingers crossed. Kira, thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for tonight on Fashion and Lifestyle. We were delighted to be part of the Cav and Rose of Tralee special here in the Hotel Kilmore. We hope you enjoy the show. Join us next time on Fashion and Lifestyle. Good night.